The issue surrounding the capacity of the police to arrest members of parliament is one that has generated a lot of controversy and confusion over the years. And as my tweet was just designed to see if I can bring a little clarity from my own perspective on this. The capacity of the police to arrest people essentially has no limit at all. The constitution has been clear that that limitation was restricted to the president. Below the president, all of us are subject to arrest by the police. Now, the MPs enjoy a special period of immunity. And that period of immunity only extends to their being on their way to parliament or on their way from parliament. In other words, the drafters of the constitution have designed the arrestment process of MPs in such a manner that their parliamentary function will not be obstructed by way of the process of arrest. And when they leave parliament, parliament shall not be used as a trapping point to get them arrested. And so, for example, you can't have the police lay in ambush in front of parliament house or outside parliament to arrest them. And the purpose is to ensure that their parliamentary work is not obstructed or interfered with unduly. Otherwise, MPs, like all other people, are subject to the arrest, you know, the arrest and the prosecuting powers of state. And as the discussion wore on, I got the sense that there's some confusion as to whether or not the Speaker of Parliament must grant his permission. And I think that confusion arose from the standing orders of Parliament, which is an internal, as the Constitution has, or rather as the Supreme Court has uh, defined it over the years, it's, it's an internal working instrument within Parliament. It doesn't trump the Constitution. And so as a matter of operational courtesy, the police can comply with that. And I think over the years they've been complying with that. But in terms of the strict construction of the law, members of parliament are not or cannot be shielded per se by the Speaker of Parliament.